welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Sarah and I have braids today I don't wear braids the only reason why I'm wearing braids is because I did a look that required braids so that's why I'm wearing braids right now I feel like Wendy so today I am finally finally going to be decluttering my mascaras like I have so many mascaras and they are you know months and years old and I need to get rid of them but I'm gonna go through each one and tell you if I like them um, if I didn't like them why or why I didn't like them and I'm going to be saying if I would repurchase again so if you're interested in that then just keep on watching all right where where do I start I don't know okay so I'm gonna start off with my um, L'Oreal lash paradises I have four of them <laughs> um, clearly I love this mascara um, but the reason why I have so many is because I feel like they um, run out pretty fast like this probably only lasts me about three weeks three to four weeks so around a month and mascaras usually last for about three months and I just feel like that these run out super freaking fast like they just dry out and they're kind of clumpy at the end of it um, but this is what the wand looks like so it's the big fluffy brush uh, or wand and this is a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I will get to that next um but these are I believe $9.99 and um would I repurchase them yes I'm I'm gonna throw all these away um because they're all dried out and I don't want them taking up uh, like any space but um of course I'm going to repurchase these I love them they're they just make my lashes so beautiful so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this right into the trash all right, so next um, is my Tarte Tartist um, mascara. And here is what the one looks like. So it's one of those like silicone um, plastic tipped wands. And I don't like this. Um, I didn't purchase this. This was in my BoxyCharm. So I guess I kind of purchased it. I don't know. It came in my BoxyCharm. And I was really excited because... I needed a mascara. I had no mascara because all of them had dried out. And I had, I have the travel size. Oh, it's right here. Oh, how convenient. So I have the travel size of it and I'm going to throw the travel size away. I'm not going to throw this away. Even though I don't really like it, uh, it's always nice to have like a backup mascara. And the reason why I don't like this is because it pokes my eye. Like it freaking hurts. And ever since I got my LASIK eye surgery, like, I have to be super freaking careful with my, um, with my eyes, especially being, like, even though it's been quite a few months, like, about two going on three months that I've had that surgery, uh, I still need to be careful with it. And, and even if you didn't have the surgery, you still need to be careful with your eyes. But this one just pokes me. So this is just going to be the very, very last backup that I uh, that I use so I'm gonna put that off to the side so next I have the um, Kat Von D mascara and I think this is the immortal lash mascara and this is what it looks like it's like some weird silicone spiral um, mascara I'm gonna throw this away I've had it for a while would I repurchase it? No. I don't tend to go for the silicone brush types. Um, I like the like the hair brushes. Like like the Lash Paradise brush. That's what I like. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this away. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Okay, so next I have the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. So it does have that... Um, that like that hair wand that I like and this is completely dried out like this has I've had it for a, a pretty long time and um I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away obviously and would I repurchase it 
yes, I would. I like the way it made my lashes look. Uh, I I liked it, and it was pretty. I think it was like eight ninety nine, which is not bad. So next I have the Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. And the reason why I bought this one, and I also have the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. The reason why I bought these is because I know that um, like Tati loved Essence, like this one Essence Mascara. And I didn't know which one it was, so I just bought two and these were not it. Neither of them. Like I'm like, there's no way that Tati likes these mascaras. Um, so there's this, it's like the silicone wand kind of thing. I don't know why I just smelled it, but this has quite a bit of product in it. But this one, like, was dry. I mean, it has, like, that brush tip, but it, like, felt super dry on my eyes. And as I do that, I stab myself. Like, that's freaking great. Let me just try to clean that up. Um, and... I don't know if I'm going to keep these. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. Like, I'm going to put them off to the side. I just kind of bought them not too long ago, but I'm going to put them off to the side and, like, decide if I want to keep those. Um, They're just different. I don't necessarily like how my, they make my eyelashes look, but I want some backup mascaras. Guys, I'm crazy. I don't know. So, next I have um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And like I said, um, this is this is what the brush looks like. It looks like the Lash Paradise, so that's why I said the um, this the Lash Paradise was a dupe for this because this is very expensive, super 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 expensive. Um, and I've had these for a pretty long time, um, and I think I like this one a little bit more than the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But the reason why I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise is because I do not support Too Faced on my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toss these. Um, it's a lot of money down the drain, but I've had them for a while anyway. I haven't been using Too Faced for a really long time. So um, will I be repurchasing? No, I will not be. Okay, this mascara I got from the Dollar Makeup Haul that I, uh, that I did on my channel. I think it was like my third video. And I don't know if I even use this because I think it was open. So not repurchasing, throwing it away. Okay, so next I have the Rimmel Scandal, Eye, uh, Scandal Eyes. And this is what it looks like. And I love this mascara. It's super duper affordable. And I love the way it makes my lashes look. Like they look amazing. I'm going to go ahead and throw these away because... Um, they're pretty dried out and I've had them for a little bit, so I'm going to throw them away, but I will definitely be repurchasing like 100%. I love, love, love this mascara. Um, okay, next I have the CoverGirl Lash Exact uh, Mascara, and I went through a phase where I really liked the thin, long eyelashes instead of like the more thicker and volumized mascaras and I really liked this mascara for it I got it on clearance at a Kroger and it was like 80 cents um so I bought it and I really really enjoyed it but um I don't think I would repurchase this only because um I'm not too fond of like CoverGirl's mascaras I've tried some in the past I didn't really like them but um <clears throat> I don't really tend to go for that long, thin eyelash look. I still want the big, thick, voluminous lashes. So I'm going to throw that away. Okay, next I have the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. And that's what the wand looks like. Kind of like a skinnier version of the um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, I didn't like this. It did nothing for my eyes. It mainly just coated them black. didn't didn't lengthen them, didn't give them volume, so I'm going to throw that away and I, ooh, <laughs> and I probably won't repurchase. Next is the Ulta Super Stretch Fiber Mascara, and that's what it looks like, and I don't like this mascara. It was super watery for me, I remember that, so I won't be repurchasing that, and I threw it away. Next, 
Oh, oh I have a, another Rimmel Scandalize, so I'm going to throw that away too. Um, so next is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, and I'm pretty sure I bought this. Um, I bought these. These are so old, by the way. Like, I can't explain to you how old these are. I think I bought this because of either... I think my sister used this. I'm, I think, I'm pretty positive my sister used that and also my best friend used it. So I think I bought that a while ago because of them. And I will repurchase this. I almost, I actually forgot about this mascara. Like, I really liked this mascara. Um, it gave you a ton of volume. So I'm going to have to repurchase that. But I'm going to go ahead and throw these guys away. Okay, next I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X fiber mascara I just bought this like last week so one end is like the mascara and the other end is like the fibers so what I like to do is do the mascara fibers and then back to mascara um I like this mascara a lot actually um like a lot a lot oh my god my camera is gonna die I have to stop filming and I will be right back so let me let me just finish this so um I really do like this mascara. I'm not throwing it away because I just bought it and I would definitely still, like I would definitely repurchase this. I really like it. It's It kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay, so um, now that I'm back, um, I don't know what's wrong with my camera, but I'm going to be really, really fast. So the next mascara I have is the Ulta Legendary Length, ugh, ugh, Length Mascara. And again, it's one of those silicone wands and I actually really do like this mascara I'm gonna throw it away because it's pretty old but I would repurchase this I think it's great for the um, lower lashes so yep next is the Maybelline full and soft mascara this one really doesn't do anything again it just coats your mascara with black or your your lashes with black and it doesn't really do anything so I'm gonna throw it away probably uh, not gonna repurchase this next I have the benefit their real um, mascara and I have it in this little travel size thing and I'm gonna throw it away because it's pretty old um, I didn't really like the benefit their real mascara but I just found out that it's a tinted primer so there's that okay so the next mascara I have is covergirl lash blast mascara and that's what it looks like it's the silicone wand and this is I think it's brown yeah it's brown and I used to love this I got this on clearance as well and but um, it made my lashes like super long and I don't really tend to go for that again so I'm gonna throw this away in probably would not repurchase so the next mascara I have is the Revlon ultra volume mascara <clears throat> and that's what it looks like oh it has a pretty good sized wand and I don't remember this mascara like I know that I have it obviously I it's in my hands but I don't remember using this I'm gonna throw it away because I don't remember using this um and I don't I don't know maybe I'll repurchase it again to give it a try because I can't remember how would like if I liked it or not so I'm gonna toss that one next I have the Maybelline last Sen lash sensational mascara and I'm pretty sure this is brown and I accidentally bought it in the shade brown well, let's see nope it's in the shade black maybe I had a brown one because I remember it being brown Oh, and there's the wand. This is a pretty good mascara. I like it for my bottom lashes. I'm going to throw it away because it's pretty old. But um, I definitely will repurchase this one. Oh, I have a mini Better Than Sex mascara. Throwing that away. So next I have the Fiona Styles Limitless, Limitless Lengths Lash Sculpting Mascara. And this is in the shade Worth. And it's like purple or like a deep maroon. I don't know. I got it for like two bucks when 
um, Fiona Styles was like on sale and like I don't I don't think I've ever used this so I'm gonna keep it just in case but um I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna keep it just in case okay so next I have the what Smashbox photo finish photo finish lash primer oh it's white It's white. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to throw it away because I've never used this before. And it's in, like, a little travel size. So, throwing that one away. Next, I have the Tarte Light Camera, Lights Camera Flashes. And that's what the wand looks like. And I don't really like this one because, um, again, it's, like, it pokes me. So, Throwing that one away. Then I have the Tarte Light Camera Lashes instead of flashes. It's lashes and it's in the little travel size. That's what it looks like. And I really, really, really like this mascara for your bottom lashes. I like how you guys like know what, what I'm doing. But like I love this for the bottom lashes. But I'm going to throw it away because it's pretty old. Next I have the Double Decker Lashes from Butter London. And I just got this in BoxyCharm. And that's what it looks like. I like it because the um, the wand is so soft. But it gets like those little dots on the top of my eyelid and the um, bottoms of my um, eyelid. Like where your lashes are. So it gets those like little dots and I it does bleed. But I'm going to keep it because I need a backup. So I'm going to keep that one. And... Um, Mm -hmm. Next, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. That's what it does look like. I just bought this not too long ago because I needed a mascara, and I don't really like it. I don't really dislike it. Like, I'm kind of in the middle with, like, with it, so I'm going to keep it um, probably when it repurchase after that. Oh, and I probably wouldn't repurchase this one either. Oh, we only have two more mascaras. Oh, oh my God. So these are the Essence Volume Stylist. One is the purple, one is the pink, and I don't know. Lash Extension Mascara and then Curl and Hold Mascara. So let me show you this wand with the um, Lash Extension Mascara. That's what it looks like. And then the wand on the curl and hold looks like that. Um, so these, I'm pretty sure the ones that Tati were talking about um, with the Essence Mascaras. And I got this in like a little pack about like, like four days ago. And I have been loving these I've only tried out this one um for the past like three days and then I tried this one out today I like this one way better the curl and hold mascara um I don't know how this one wears but this one wears pretty good it's really hard to get off like even when you're rubbing with a makeup wipe like it still like clumps onto your eyelashes so you got to be careful with that um if if that's something that bothers you but this one, I don't know how it comes off, but I really like this one. I like them both, so I am definitely going to re re be repurchasing these um, because I think they're like $4 each, and you cannot beat that. So with that being said, do I keep these? Um, I'm going to keep them just in case, you know. I downsized mascaras quite a bit, so I only have one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mascaras. And um, this whole thing was filled like to the top, like right here. So now I only have that many. I think that was a pretty successful um, declutter. And um, it was kind of nice to go through my mascaras and like see which ones I didn't like and did like. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that as well. Um, let me know if there's any other videos that you would like for me to do. I love hearing what you guys want me to see. Um, 
because I think it's really cool that you guys want me to do a video. So let me know if you guys want to see something specific and I will try my best to film it for you guys. And um, so yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in my uh, next video. Bye guys.